This video will demonstrate creating a density surface using a kernel density estimation in ArcGIS Pro. The data used for this demonstration is point data of initial tornado touchdown points in Caddo County, Oklahoma. So you'll see I also have a base map and a county boundary layer to just provide some initial geographic context. Density surfaces help us visualize patterns in spatial data by showing the concentration of point or line features. And in doing so, these features are smoothed or spread over the surrounding area with a raster as the resulting output. So first, we want to open the kernel density tool, which we can locate by searching for kernel density from the geoprocessing pane. And once we open up that kernel density tool, first thing we want to do is select our input features, which will be our tornadoes. We also want to name our output raster, which we'll just call density. And then we see two options below the output raster there, output cell size and search radius. So these are two key parameters to be aware of when creating a density surface. So the value of the output cell size will determine how smooth that output raster will appear. This means the higher an output cell size, the more coarse the output raster will appear. So we can put a value in there, but the units for the output cell size as well as for search radius are going to be based on the linear units of the data set's projected coordinate system. So if we go over to the contents pane and open properties for our tornadoes layer, if we go to source and then look at the spatial reference, we see that uh, this layer is in a state plane coordinate system and our linear units are going to be in feet. So we see an output cell size value has uh, automatically been populated. I'm going to change this to 500 feet and for search radius. Search radius establishes the distance from each point for which that point's going to be used to, to calculate the density. So what this means is that a larger search radius provides a more generalized density raster, and a smaller search radius tends to produce a density raster with more detail. So I am going to uh, specify a search radius of 25,000 feet, and I'm going to go ahead and run this tool. And we can see the output raster here on the map. I'm going to turn off the county boundaries layer as well as the base map in order to, for us to be able to better visualize this output raster. And so we can see um, that an output raster here, if we look at the contents pane, this output raster is symbolized using graduated colors where the increasing saturation indicates greater density. And so in this example, darker areas indicate a greater predicted density of tornado touchdown points. And we can zoom in a bit closer and we can see that this has been you know, spread out over the surface. Now, in order to illustrate the importance of search radius, what I've already done ahead of time is do the same process, but specifying a search radius of 10,000 feet and also for 100,000 feet. So let me turn off this layer and I'll turn on the um, density surface for 10,000 feet for a search radius of 10,000 feet. Now it looks somewhat similar, but if we look a bit closer, we see we don't see much of a spread across the surface. And so this will happen when we uh, specify too small of a search radius. And we turn this off and turn on um, a layer with 
the the output raster with a 100,000 foot um, search radius and what we can see here by zooming out a bit is that it's uh, too spread out across the surface so it appears um, kind of washed out and it doesn't give us that detail that we see when we have that 25,000 foot search radius on which I'll I'll switch back to at this point so we can see from this demonstration how to create a density surface using kernel density estimation in ArcGIS Pro and especially the latter portion showing the importance of specifying uh, an appropriate search radius to create a density surface.